friends. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to, to the Shanty Chic Show. show. I thought that cat on the side of the road. The benefits of using plywood <laughs> by Ashley Turner. <laughs> so normally we are building a piece of furniture to fit that perfect spot or need that we have. Which is exactly why we started building furniture in the first place. But then occasionally we come across the most awesome hardware that just needs a piece of furniture built for it. And Whitney was totally inspired by this awesome furniture hardware, so she designed this piece. So today we are gonna be building a three drawer dresser and it's gonna be going in my daughter's room, Hayden. So we're gonna call it the Hayden Rustic Glam Three Drawer Dresser. So let's build it. All right, so the first step is to build the face frames. Whitney's gonna build one and I'm gonna build the other. Yes, and this uses one by three white wood or pine boards. Already cut to size. We did already cut them to size, but we've gotta add pocket holes. So because we're using three quarter inch material, we're gonna be making three quarter inch pocket holes. So I'm gonna grab the Craig jig. And I'm gonna grab the Shaney cam. That's teamwork right there. So we are gonna be using a K5 Craig jig. We often get asked what our favorite model of Craig jig is. And this has to be it because of the price and also the versatility of it. So one of our big tips is to mount it to a board. We've actually even added handles to this one because when you have longer boards, you're able to pull it up or put it on the ground if you need to. So we are going to be adding three quarter inch pocket holes into our top and bottom trim pieces. And these are all, again, the exact same, but I'm gonna pick the side that I want to see the least, which in this case, it's probably gonna be this because I'm gonna paint it. Normally I'd want that to show, but since I'm painting it, we just will go ahead and hide it. And I'm locking it in place. Ash, tell them about our video that we have on this. So if you're wondering how to use a Craig jig, we have a video for that, and we will link to it in the description box below. All right, so I have my wood in place, and I've got my Craig jig set to the right measurement, and I'm just using my drill to add these pocket holes. All right, now, one side right here is gonna be attached to one leg, and then the other side's gonna be attached to the other. So I'm just flipping it around. I'm making sure my pocket holes are gonna be going on the same side. Put it in place, and we're gonna do it again. Like a pro. Do you know what pros do? Pros wear glasses, and I forgot to put mine on. So, Boo. problem solved. Yes, I know. All right, so I've got these two made. I'm gonna finish up the other three, and then we'll put it together. It's raining sawdust, guys. It's raining sawdust. Hallelujah. It's raining sawdust. Usually we do this ahead of time, and Whitney was like, oh, this will be a step we can show it, because we don't show it very often, but then she's doing all of them. So, I think maybe, she was like, I don't feel like doing pocket holes today. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> That's exactly I that what it was. I did them on the plywood if it makes you happy. All right, so on the front face frame, we're also going to have two drawer dividers, and these are one by twos. I'm also going to be adding three quarter inch pocket holes to those. Booger shot. She always comes in for the booger shot. Just wait, because I'm going to be getting you later doing a little bit of something, something. I actually have the best job right here, because I'm not having to build anything, and I can just play with the GoPro and take selfies. <laughs> we need to call it the Ashley Cam. The Ashley Cam. Crikey! Look at that drill. All right, pocket holes are made. Now we're going to assemble. That means I have to work now. Yes, it does. We've got all of our pocket holes drilled, and now we're gonna build the two face frames, and that is just a simple box. Pocket holes are gonna go on the top and bottom pieces, and then the other pieces are going to go on the sides. We're gonna use wood glue and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. So Ashley's showing y'all how we're putting in those one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. And she's not gonna get my fingernails because I had to pull all of my dip off because they were cracking. So she'll be doing that later. So we've got two pocket hole screws on that corner. Notice all the sides are flush. And then she's adding more over here. Slowly <sighs> but surely. I gotta I know get some of this wood was a bit warm. Yeah, it's darn wood. Insert clamps, a little intense for. Hey, you know what? Anything for your sister. <laughs> All right, so she has her corner lined up with a clamp right here that's just holding everything together and adding the pocket hole screw into that space. Like a glove. Like a glove. You're so pro, Ashley. You know me. Two frames built? We're good. We're Two good. frames built. Okay. 
All right, so we've got the outside of the face frames done, and now it's time to add the shelf part of the face frames. So on one of your face frames, this is gonna be just slightly different because we are going to be adding our drawer dividers. And y'all need to make sure you go download the free plans because we put all these measurements out for you. You don't have to remember that these are in fact seven and seven sixteenths inches apart, right? Right, you can go get plans. So we we'll, will link them in the description box below. So go ahead and mark on the face frame seven and seven sixteenths inches. Gotcha. That's a fun measurement, isn't seven it? Seven and seven sixteenths. This is gonna be from the inside of that corner that you just made, and it's gonna line up. The opening is gonna be seven and seven sixteenths inches, because that's where our drawer face is actually gonna go. The easiest way to find that is you know that seven and a half is seven and eight sixteenths, so it's one shy of the half mark. Y'all didn't know you were gonna get a math lesson today. You didn't Ashley. know that I was such a math whiz. Yep. Ma not Mathly Ashley. <laughs> Okay, marks are made, seven and seven sixteenths. Here's your first one. So we're gonna add wood glue to each end. We're gonna attach them the same way that we attach the other parts of the face frame with that wood glue and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Are we going below the mark or above the mark? Each opening seven and seven sixteenths. Gotcha. So you're right there, yeah. Perfect. Need a mallet? Nope. Probably, because I'm the one that made the cups. Bragger. Close to perfect. That's what they call me. Close to, to perfect, perfect Whitney. <laughs> Almost, but not quite perfect Whitney. <laughs> Almost perfect, but not quite. <laughs> so we're gonna add one more one by two, and that's going to be our other divider. And we've already marked where that lines up. All right, so now we have our back face frame built and our front face frame built. So now we are gonna build two sides. And these are gonna be identical pieces, so Ash is gonna build one, I'm gonna build the other. So these are three quarter inch hardwood plywood. Now, after I built this, I was like, you could totally use sanded plywood and it would be a lot cheaper because I'm painting it. But if you're staining it, you absolutely wanna go with hardwood plywood. So what we've done here is added three quarter inch pocket holes up and down each side. Like y'all can see right here. And Ash is gonna grab the shanty cam. Trying to get out of work again. It's my job. Yeah, that's right. So y'all can see right here, we've got our three quarter inch pocket holes that I made beforehand just to save us a little time. And this is gonna be what's on the inside of our dresser. So I'm gonna flip it around because we're gonna do our work on this part first. So to create these fun sides right here, we are going to measure halfway on both. So for right here, I'm at 16, make a mark at eight. Come back over here on this side. Make a mark at eight. And then right here, I'm measuring, I've got 30 and a quarter, so I'm gonna mark 15 and one eighth. Same thing on this side. 15, maybe if my tape measure sits still, 15 and one eighth. So what I've done is I've made my marks to start figuring out how I need to cut this trim. This is lattice. I created my own using some quarter inch boards that I ran through my table saw. Was that, you, you said lettuce? Lattice. You're so funny. She's a funny gal. This is le lettuce board, <laughs> and um, I am going to, you can also buy lettuce board at the store. <laughs> you can also buy lattice at the hardware store, but I just wanted to make my own because it's cheaper and I can make it like I want it. So what I'm doing, guys, and you can see this really quick, rather than trying to figure out all these funky angles, I'm just going to put it right here on this mark, and I'm also going to run it down here and put it on this mark. Yeah. And then I'm gonna draw a line showing where I need to make these cuts on both. Then I'm gonna run over to my miter saw and I'm gonna cut it. Run, 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 run. This is the outside of the dresser and we are gonna be using one by three boards. Same boards we used for the face frames and these are gonna go at the top and the bottom and we are attaching these with wood glue and nails. Okay, so I'm adding wood glue to each of these pieces right here and attaching them with the nailer and I'm using one and a quarter inch brad nails. You just wanna make sure it's totally flush on all three sides, top and sides, and... If I didn't know better, it would look like you're making a shanty tray. I, but you're right, that's a good point. We'll link to the shanty tray that we've built in the description box below if we remember to. Actually, we probably won't. Just go Google. All right, so we have both of our sides done and we have already marked and cut for the trim pieces. 
And these are gonna fit centered where we made those marks. And we're attaching these right here with wood glue and five eighths of an inch pin nails. What's really cool about this is that you can put any design that you want on the side. So if you want it to look more glam, rustic, you can do this diamond shape that we're gonna do. You could put a barn, if you want farmhouse, you could put like a V. Actually, that would be an A. I would an just do what I did, because it's darn stinking cute. But That's I'm just giving them do. ideas. I like my idea better. All right, so we have the outsides of our sides done, but now we are going to flip it over. And we're going to go ahead and add our drawer slide supports. That's what we're going to call them. We're going to call them drawer slide supports. These are two by four boards, but we ripped them to one inch because that's exactly how much space you need to get the widest drawer possible. And we're attaching them in place using wood glue and one and a half inch stack screws into the plywood sides. All right, now we're going to move up to the next one. A little wood glue action. And I notice you use some old scrap wood for this. That is a great option. Yes, there is actually quite a bit of scrap wood on this piece today. <laughs> you know, cleats, stuff like that are hidden, so it's a great yep. place to be able to use. It, used, it has paint yes. on it already, so yes. I can tell. All right, last one. Okay. Just All right. like that. Just like that, we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. All right, so we have both sides done. The cleats are on each side of the inside. It's time to attach the base piece, and that is also a three-quarter inch sheet of plywood. We've already drilled three-quarter inch pocket holes all around the edges. Awesome, so we're gonna attach this to one side. You wanna grab the shaving can? On and it. I'll, I'll show y'all how to do this. So I am adding a line of wood glue, and this is gonna sit flush. Y'all ignore that pocket hole. I made it in the wrong spot, so we're just gonna act like it's not there. I'm lining up this base and I just want it to be flush all around including the bottom and I'm just using those same pocket hole screws that one put up a little fight for me and I'm gonna add some all the way down all the pocket hole screws all right, I've got that side attached. Now I'm going to flip it over and we will attach the other side. That's a smart way to do it. Oh my goodness, like, so smart, right? Let me grab it. So cute. I know, isn't it so cute? So I, cute. Actually, I walked over and saw that side and I was like, mm, look how cute, you're guys. Fun. I know, she better flip and love it. She better be like, my mom and aunt are so cool. I am so lucky. Man, I think she says that every day, actually. She works hard for the money. Eh, 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 eh. So hard for you, honey. So you better treat her right. Ooh, that's what I need to be singing to my children. All right, we have our base attached on both of our short sides, and we have our sides attached. Look how darn cute they are. Now we get to add some face frames. Yippee. Not this face. Not this one. We've got the sides and the bottoms completely done. Now we can attach the face frame. We're starting with the back face frame first, so we're gonna flip this dresser upside down and on top of the back face frame. So we're attaching that using wood glue and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. All right, now I've got all these pocket holes done. I'm going to go on the inside of the dresser and I'm gonna use the same one and a quarter inch pocket holes from those pocket holes that we've already drilled and into the sides of the face frame. All right, I have done all of the pocket holes on the back frame, and now while we have it in this spot and it's open on the front, we're gonna go ahead and add the drawer slides on each cleat. Whoop, whoop, woo! So at this part, we're gonna be adding our drawer slides. These are 16 inch fully extending drawer slides. They are my favorite. I get them in a set on Amazon, and they are super cheap and work really well, so I'll link to those, I won't forget, in the description box. And what I'm doing, because I have this open, this is in this build, it's not necessarily like this in all of them, but this is the fastest way to get these on. And what I'm gonna be doing is lining up the top of each one completely flush with the top of that rail that I've made. And I also want that to sit flush with the front because our face frame is going to um, be even with our drawer face frame. So that'll all make sense when I get it done. So let's just get these attached. Now, these came with hardware. I'm using spack screws because they are so much easier. So, it's gonna save me time and it'll make Ashley happier. Door slides are on. Now we can attach 
that front face frame. We're doing this the exact same way that we did the back face frame. We're flipping the dresser back upside down and on top of the front face frame. We're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the back where we go with one and a quarter inch pocket holes into that front face frame. All right, we've built the whole dresser and now it's time to build the drawers to go inside of it. Yay. So we are gonna be using half inch hardwood plywood for this. I have ripped this down to six inches deep. These are gonna be six inch deep drawers and we are going to be attaching the big sides to our smaller sides using wood glue and nails. And Ashley's gonna do the honor because I think this would be a great time to pull out shiny cam again. Shiny so, cam time. That's right. Okay, I am adding a little glue. And then we're going to attach that small piece to the big piece. I like to set it up like an L and then use my nailer. Silence the phone! <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the end and attach it. I'm using 18 gauge brad nails. That's attached, now flip it over and add our quarter inch hardwood plywood piece to the top of that. Attach that using either nails or staples and wood glue. So at this point we are going to be attaching our drawers and we will make that super easy using the Craig Jig drawer slide jig. So Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> so I'm going to attach this side and we're using the Craig face clamps. What are we going to do Ash? We're going to link these in the description box below so that you can check them out, maybe get one. All right, so these are going to hold our drawer in place. Let's go ahead and fully extend our slides. All right, so we've got this lined up. It's going to hold that in place, and then I am going to screw it in place. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way. All right, perfect. Now we're going to do the other side. Yes. And this is so great because these little things that stick out hold the drawer level for you. So that it's like you're having like an extra like two sets of hands. This is always the worst part of installing drawers. All right, now I'm going to take the clamps off. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. The easiest way to attach the drawer faces is to use a clamp to hold it in place. That way you make sure that you're nice and level. Just attach the face from the inside of the drawer with nails and glue and into that drawer face. Now we can attach the top. The final two steps of building this dresser are attaching the top and the back. This is super simple. It also uses a nailer and y'all can check out our website for details on that. This looks so good. I love the white that you painted it and I love that hardware. I know, isn't that hardware amazing? I just, I wanted something simple that would show it off because, oh, it's just so awesome. Well, I love too that it can be a dresser, but it could also be a nightstand. It really would be the perfect height, especially if you had like a higher bed. It would be so cute. And look at all that storage. She's a lucky girl. She is a lucky girl. Now she better keep all of her clothes in it. I know, that's right. <laughs> all right, guys, y'all be sure to subscribe. You do not want to miss another project that we have coming up. And we want to see your builds, so use hashtag Shanty to Chic on social media so that we can share them. Happy building.